What's up YouTube? Well, this is my first try at an HHO generator, aka hydrogen generator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've been watching a lot of videos and I, I I chose to go with I think I think it's called the the Joe cell or whatever. Um there we go. See through there. Nice. Not as nice as I would have liked it, and not definitely not as nice as some of the videos I watched. Uh, but it works. Um, this I have not seen on YouTube. I don't think I have, anyways. Um, it's a heating element for a water heater, stainless steel. Um, inside, I put a couple of little cutting board spacers. Uh, just uh, so that the tube does not sit on the metal and short out. These are the, the inside tubes. Those inside ones are my neutrals. The big one on the outside is my positive. And my positive is going to slide inside of this PVC pipe like this. Hold on. So, now, now it fits in there like so, nice stainless steel sleeved tube, um, let's see here, I'm going to take my heating element, which all I did was I just took my wire that I ran through the back. I just soldered the two ends together so that it uh, just ran the current, you know, through the whole element. Oops, forgot my spacers. I don't know that I need these in here, but I don't think they're going to hurt. So they're going to go in here. Uh, if anybody watches this video and has any ideas on how I can modify this without a whole hell of a lot of work. Okay, so now it's all all on there. Let's take a look. Nice. Okay. Now on the other side. I found one of these little test plugs and it just so happens to fit right inside that stainless steel tube. Will this all hold water in the end and hold pressure? I don't fucking know. So what I'm going to do is, is take this stainless steel bolt here. I've been dying to use this thing for I don't know how long I've been dragging this bolt around. Uh, from place to place and now I finally get to use it I think I'm gonna tap it somewhere on the side so that it uh, touches that outside tube that'll be my positive my negative and I still have to tap a hole for the for the out for the exhaust for the gas and that's it.